Fox. It is the dark time of the year and there's a fire glow in the orchard. I hear Fox. As evening slides into night, I put on my coat and head out into the street. The night is sepia and a sleepy half moon rests its belly upon the chimney pots of the houses opposite. Down the passageway between the houses, the diamonds of a chain-link fence gleam with a slick, snake-like sheen. The scent of cooking, cumin and coriander on the air. I wait. In my pocket, I clutch the warm shape of an egg, a simple offering. The pathway meets a quiet road of Edwardian houses, gables dark and brooding, half-opened eyes. A pause. Shadows shape themselves into the form of a fox. At least I believe I see her. The night deceives. Shadows flicker. I creep a little closer. I place my egg on the curb and step back into a privet hedge. She cowers with a little guilt, a morsel of shame. She is so hungry, she needs me, but doesn't want me there. A pregnant space hangs between us. A dream comes to me, downland. A path of white chalk threads like a toothy smile over the contours. I am on the edge somewhere, stalking fox. I feel invisible, phantom-like, crouching and hovering in some liminal space. Ears pricked, I listen. The fabric of reality is taut but thin and our two lives intertwine. A gnawing sensation grips my stomach. My limbs tense, my nose twitches. Back on the street, there is a bang. A young couple climb into a car, talking. Another car door slams. Fox is still there. She flinches, shakes out a leg. She's at the curb. In one swift move, she takes the egg in her mouth and is gone. <laughs> 